hello patrons and welcome back to this new project that I am gonna release for the channel this is a project involving also Ableton and it's basically um, called um, Hot Zones it inspired from the video that I showed you last time it's um, uh, where basically they were creating um, generative music uh, using Notch connected to Ableton via Touch Designer. With this project we are going to just use Touch Designer uh, to trigger nodes in Ableton and then uh, and then we apply some, some effects on them. We basically have these two cubes and the sphere and when the sphere hits the, the cube a node will be generated and and then we can change the speed and the regularity of the movement of the of the sphere so first of all when we open our project we touch designer will ask if we want to create this touch designer song and we will create it and in the, we need to install of course properly Ableton uh, with Touch Designer, in Touch Designer actually, and um, to to allow the communication between the two softwares. If you have problems with that, just let me know and I can help you with the installation. So once we have it, so we also have this um, component here appearing in them. Um, Ableton and this is actually um, just uh, confirming that there is um, communication between the, the touch designer and Ableton all right but let's go a little bit more sorry for this let's go more into the patch so basically what we can do is I don't launch the, um, the, the project because I want to show you here the features so basically we can choose the colors of our boxes when they are triggered and I'm just choosing random colors now so basically we can choose also the color of the wireframe so this white line that you can see so we can choose different colors for the wireframe and also we can choose the color of the sphere so this is all about the colors this section so let's choose yeah let's choose like red for example all right now we can change here the speed of our of our sphere so we can can be very fast or we can be like very slow okay here we can change the randomness so it can be very random the movement of the sphere and here we can change the regularity so basically if we go at one basically there's no the movement is very regular it goes from one cube to another one and then if we change the regularity and we put it low basically yeah the path is gonna be very random okay let's go in this other page and this is the one that actually has information about the communication with Ableton so first of all we need to set up Ableton so what we need is basically going into instruments and then choosing some instruments for example I like the grand piano it's like very very basic but yes this one. with this sound we just drag it in MIDI and when we have it here basically we have our instrument in Ableton now we go in touch designer and we select in MIDI sound we can select grand piano and we need to pulse this touch designer MIDI device in order to create this touch designer MIDI which will appear here 
it's a communication between touch designer and the MIDI clips here. This will allow us to, to create notes from touch designer to Ableton. So basically, and now we have stop playing on on. So if we just click here, the sounds so the notes that we are triggering when the sphere is eating the, the cubes what we do next is to add some effects on this so in this case for the scale I want to add um, uh, sorry in this case for the piano I want to add a scale effect and especially I want to use the C major so I just drag it here where there is my instrument and then I will have my scale here and I want to control actually the bass and the transpose so what I do is I go here in my menu I select my instrument then I can select the device, and the device in this case is the, is the scale, the C major. And then here I select the transpose, so the parameter I want to control. When I'm here, I select again the grand piano, I select the C major, the scale, and then I go here and I select the bass. And in this case, I can control the bass and the transpose parameters so these two, they are in Ableton, just moving these two sliders, these two faders in, uh, in Touch Designer. So let's see what happens. So I will start to play again. So basically I'm changing the scale just using touch designer so I'm triggering the notes so basically the visuals are triggering the notes and then I can control also some effects with them so all in touch designer so basically also random basically is a generative music created in touch designer using Ableton uh, other thing we can do this, this is the last thing we can do is also changing notes can choose also different notes so we can control also the notes I want to show you a last thing here um, and basically this is like another effect we're gonna use the flanger um, I'm not very expert actually in Ableton so a friend uh, Mariano uh, Mariano Fiore suggests me to use this effect to, and to to control it via touch designer so so this is the flanger and for this I want to use actually the bass as instrument because I just believe it's um, it's an instrument that can give us more an idea of um, yeah of the effect. So basically here 
we have to we have a, a, a narrow message because if you, we see here we have the C major selected but we removed actually the C major and we put the flanger so so touch designer is not able to see actually the um, the C major anymore so we need the flanger here and we need the flanger also here and of course also there is another message because error message because the transpose is not there in the wobble we want to uh, in fact control the feedback here and also we want to control the delay time here so now these two values they go from 0 to 1 when we want to control uh, them into value send so um, but value send goes until 16 and minus 16 but if we go to 16 the value will go back to 1 because this is the maximum we can reach in Ableton so basically so we have to control these values between 0 and 1 so we have to move slowly along the, the slider or we can just put them manually so what let's see what happens with them let's put this at 0 so we have like a reference as a sound and also put the notes a little bit more close to each other maybe okay let's see what happens <laughs> We are controlling it, and we can generate also the sounds uh, from from visuals, basically creating touch designer and sending MIDI MIDI notes in Ableton. So um, I hope you enjoy this um, this project, and also I yeah, if you uh, want to suggest some other um, things we can do with uh, with this project, I'm open to to requests or proposals or ideas. And um, yeah, next step is uh, actually combining the two topics of the next month. The next month, uh, the topics are gonna be render pick. So basically, we are gonna use the hands to move objects around, like cubes, selecting and uh, drag. Um, into the scene and yeah I was thinking about maybe combining these two features so basically moving these cubes with our hands and triggering sounds uh, when the when the sphere uh, meets them so this is the idea maybe uh, also another idea is to add more cubes into the scene we'll see um, so yeah if you have any ideas or proposals just let me know uh, as always and I hope you enjoy this other project thank you um, and see you to the next one